So welcome to Family Gamer TV. I'm at the uh, Xbox Showcase event just before the doors open at E3, and I'm um, with. Uh, just say, say your name and your job title. My name is Brian Eckberg, and I'm the community manager with uh, the Forza Motorsport series. And we're looking at Forza Horizon 2. This is the first time anyone's seen it. That's right, is it? Yes, we are showing it off for the first time here at E3 2014. Obviously, it's a follow-up to the original Forza Horizon, which came out in 2012 on the Xbox 360. Forza Horizon 2 is coming out on Xbox One and Xbox 360. So here we've got three cars on this lap that we can choose. So just yes, talk us through the different vehicles. So we have three amazing cars here. This is the cover car for the game, the Lamborghini Huracan. Um, this is the, the, the debut of this car. This car has never been seen in a video game before. Uh, I have six seconds before I have to start. So we have the GTR Black Edition and the Corvette Stingray. I think we'll go with the Stingray. Is yeah, that okay? It. Sounds good. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Uh, also a really new car that a lot of people are excited about. Uh, so all three of these cars are super fun to drive. We're going to tr try out the, the Stingray for the first time um, a lot of power obviously it's a uh, difficult you know fun to control but it's a handful as well and a lot of the same cars that that you expect to see in a Forza Horizon game the the, the McLaren P1 the, the the Vipers in here the the Pagani Huayra those supercars that you want to drive in an open world environment they're here uh, in Forza Horizon 2 but you can take them and do things that you've never been able to do for, before in a Forza game like drive off road like this um, this is a truly open world game you can go through you know crash through fences and uh, go through fields and crash through big buckets and hay bales and all these amazing things and wherever you see in Forza Horizon 2 you can actually go there you can go through this vineyard and crash right through it so you're not you're not you're not tied to the roads. You basically go where you want to go in this game. But does that make it less of a typical racing game? It seems like a very arcadey in you doing that. Well, it's definitely not a Forza Motorsport game, right? I mean, Forza Motorsport is a definitely a circuit-based game where it's about tenths of seconds, and you're trying to find the optimal line. This is a game that's about an open-world action racing game where you're, yeah, you want to be first, but it's up to you to choose the path that you go on and find your own path to victory. So yes, I definitely say it's definitely a different expression of the Forza franchise, but it's it's all about fun. We want this to be a really fun game that anybody can pick up and play. And so while you're racing, can you just tell us what you're doing in terms of track position? And yep. you've got your opponents up ahead of you. Absolutely. I'm driving uh, this, this Corvette Stingram in sixth place right now. I've got the Lamborghini Huracan, our cover car, right in front of me. Um, and I'm driving, uh, you know, th th this game takes place in southern Europe. So if you think about the south of France, northern Italy, the foothills of the Alps, that's where this game is taking place. And if you look off to my right there, you see we're at the Mediterranean coast. And so you have these really spectacular vistas and these amazing roads to drive. You know, there's, there's no place to drive on Earth like the, the south of France in that area and all of a sudden it starts to rain and this is a first for the, the Forza series. We never had rain in our game and I know the fans have been asking for it for years so it's so awesome to be able to show. Like personally, it's like a dream come true to see rain in a Forza game. As a fan of the series, I've always wanted this and I can go into like cockpit mode and the windshield wipers work. Of course, my windshield is a little cracked there because I've been driving and talking at the same time, but every car has real working windshield wipers, and that's the kind of authenticity you expect from a Forza game. And so um, the game's developed by your studio that you work for? Uh, the game is being developed by Playground in the UK, Playground Games, who are the same developers who made the original Forza Horizon. Um, we, I work for Turn 10 Studios, the makers of the Forza Motorsport series, but uh, we work very closely together with Playground to develop this game. Like I mentioned before, this game is being uh, built off the Forza Motorsport 5 engines, so a lot of uh, uh, technology and code similarities and sharing a lot of that same technology, the same technology that makes Forza Motorsport 5 so beautiful and so fun to play is it, are the underpinnings here and the and the the talented people at, at Playground have really taken it to that next to the next step and making and making this open world game that's really fast and fun and you know go anywhere you want. It's kind of like a dream come true. You're driving these amazing cars in one of the most beautiful places on earth. And you're crashing through stuff and you're having a great time. And so in the real world, are you a, a, a motorsport fan? I'm a huge motorsport fan, absolutely. Yeah, I love anything to do with cars. So what, what car do you drive? Uh, well, I, I, I will say that my, my car is built based on budget, not on <laughs> what I love. Yeah. Uh, I have a Mazda 3, but I love it a lot. It's, my, it's a great car for the money. 
Um, my dream car, Honda S2000, so still affordable, but a lot of power in that car and a lot of fun to drive. But that's the great thing about Turn 10 is we have so many car fans in our, uh, if you go like to the Turn 10 lot, you see cars there every stripe. You see Audis and uh, classic Porsches and off-roaders and everybody has their own idea of what, a per of what their favorite car is.